I'm Michelle Giacomo, the course director for palliative care programs in the Faculty of Health at UTS. Palliative care is a person and family centered model of care and it helps people who are living with life limiting conditions to maintain their quality of life and manage symptoms. So it's really about living as well as you can for as long as you can. We offer three postgraduate courses in palliative care at UTS. The graduate certificate, which usually takes one year part-time to complete, the graduate diploma, which takes two years part-time, and the master of palliative care, which takes three years part-time to complete. And we offer articulated programs of study, and that's with flexible entry and exit points. So that means that you can start in a graduate certificate and decide that you want to continue on to the master's. So the subjects kind of build on one another. Um, and vice versa, you can decide when you are in the master's of palliative care that you want to exit after your graduate certificate subjects are done. So it's quite flexible that way. We have a strong focus on strengthening communication skills in palliative care, and we also incorporate critical self-reflection in pretty much every subject. Um, because we lean quite a bit into learning opportunities that are as authentic as possible, um, for example, in a communication subject, we will have students engage in some simulation activities around communication so they get actual practice having these conversations, different approaches that they might apply to their you know, clinical encounters. We have some subjects that have a public health focus uh, and that also includes the ethical and legal dimensions of palliative care. Uh, we also focus on clinical skills, so clinical assessment, pharmacology, and complex symptom management. Our students are interdisciplinary from different practice levels, um, various specialty areas, and what they have in common is that they want to extend their palliative care capabilities. So we have um, nurses, physicians, allied health professionals all in this course. Um, some of the allied health professionals are pharmacists or a speech pathologist, physiotherapists to name a few. The course is online and it's set on a platform called Canvas. Um, the, so there's a bit of independent work where you can work through the modules, all the content is online, you can do some of the activities online, um, and then we also have some live, you know, Zoom sessions scheduled throughout the semester where it's a great opportunity to get together with the other students who are enrolled in the course and the teaching team and talk through any of the topics that you've been working through online. You get to do interactive activities and just really, you know, ask questions or share your own experiences. So that's a great uh, part of it. My name is Professor Mira Agar. I'm the director of the Impact Research Centre in which the postgraduate programs in palliative care sit. I'm a professor of palliative medicine and a practicing palliative care physician and have been for over 20 years. Our programs are designed to use real world experiences in terms of clinical situations, service challenges, and also the cases you have to make to grow services from a business and advocacy perspective. You'll learn in an interdisciplinary way with colleagues from across the country, from a wide range of clinical areas, who are working in many different settings and from different perspectives. And we really encourage you to bring your real world examples to the learning and to share your thoughts and have input into the learning of other students. And by learning together in this interprofessional way, we can all prepare ourselves to be the palliative care workforce of the future. When you're thinking about the career opportunities that our postgraduate programs will offer you, it doesn't 
matter whether you are looking for leadership roles in clinical practice, policy or service leadership, our programs are designed to provide you the skills to meet the career opportunities in all of those areas. It may be that you aspire to be a leader in, in terms of developing and growing palliative care services as a health care administrator. You may be interested in being a clinical leader at the bedside, or you may be wanting to improve policy, funding and resources for services in aged care, in primary care or in hospitals. We equip you in our programs to take leadership opportunities across all of these areas.